During a session with ODM National Executive Council members, the former Prime Minister made a rallying call to supporters of constitutional amendments through the BBI process, whose proposals remain concealed. The BBI report is around the corner. The forces that have always opposed change, the, force, the voices of impunity that thrive on corruption and outright lies have already lined up against the report. De Salvo directed at Deputy President William Ruto, who insists amending the 2010 constitution was not a priority. He must therefore get ready to take up the battle to the anti-reform elements that are lining up to stop the nation from moving forward. These anti-reform forces are not new. The same ones who opposed the new constitution in 2010, the same ones who opposed the unity of purpose between President Uhuru Kenyatta and myself, and the same ones who are opposing the war on corruption and now. Karibu. Ruto has engaged the overdrive gear with an eye on State House in 2022, the 2018 handshake between Odinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta, rendering him an outsider in government. In our nation, we cannot continue to talk about power and the few who benefit from power. We want to discuss about empowerment because it reaches millions of Kenyans across the nation. Kenyatta and Odinga have however insisted the BBI process was not all about expanding the executive but shared prosperity, strengthening devolution and resolving long-standing national issues that spark ethnic and political divisions every election cycle. In the months ahead, we are going into a confrontation with the beneficiaries of proceeds of corruption who are arraigned against our agenda for a radical socio-economic transformation job creation and equitable distribution of prosperity. We must win that war. The deputy president has opted to engage directly with ordinary citizens in his presidential pursuit, fashioning the 2022 race as a hustlers versus dynasties contest. His donations in cash and kind to youth and women groups, as well as various churches, sparking opposition from the handshake axis. They will be giving wheelbarrows, they will be giving Coco tennis, they will be giving water tanks. When they give it, we are not discouraging our youth from taking. Take it. It is actually a product of corruption. But we are saying this is like a peanut throwing, um, um, like throwing maize to a chicken so that it can come closer to be arrested so that it can be slaughtered. The BBI task force chaired by Garissa Senator Yusuf Haji completed its assignment in June and awaits a date with President Kenyatta to hand its report amid talk of an imminent referendum early next year to amend key clauses in the Constitution to facilitate an expanded executive that includes a Prime Minister, two deputies, an appointment of some cabinet ministers from among members of Parliament. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.